everybody, welcome Falcon XCOM Enemy Within the Long War mod. Now, um, if you're not familiar with the channel, I just recently wrapped up my Xenonaut series, which was, you know, a difficult endeavor in itself. And, you know, had basically, Xenonauts think of it as a love letter to the original XCOM game. So, I, I personally have some experience with XCOM Enemy Unknown and Within, however, without the Long War mod applied, which I've heard intensifies the difficulty like tenfold and not a hundredfold. It's a really hard mod. And that's what kind of really got me interested in the whole thing, because as much as I enjoyed XCOM Enemy Within and Unknown, I did realize that even though in Iron Man Impossible Mode, it still was difficult, but not as difficult as, as I, you know, think it should have been. And Long War basically wraps all that aside and adds a lot of new things to the whole mix of things, especially weapons when it comes to uh, things that you research, etc, etc. So because of that reason alone, I want to get involved with it. So um, if you're also a first time viewer, I would also encourage you that um, I like to get all of you guys involved in the series itself. So what I'm going to be doing is for this very episode, if you want to be named after a soldier within the series itself, let me know in the comments below like Falcon, I would love to be part of the XCOM units or Falcon, I hate your fucking guts, but I still want to be named after a soldier. Whichever is fine, you know, whatever you want to do, use your own prerogative. Just try to keep it a little bit PG. You know, if you're going to insult me, just like, you know, use um, cover up words or something like that. You don't really have to do that, but it, you know, hurts my feelings a lot less. But that's besides the point. So if you guys want to be part of the series, just let me know in the comments, Falcon. Name me so and so. And I'm going to add you guys to a list. Now, normally how I do this is that I just add people first come, first serve. This time around, I'm going to do it a little bit different. I will add everybody to a list, and that list will be run through a random number generator. And based on what that random number generator gives me, I will add you based on that whole thing. Because the whole first come, first uh, serve thing works pretty well, but I want to give a chance to other people that don't necessarily watch the video the very first moment it's uploaded. So uh, that's the reason why we're doing that part. So hopefully you guys understand, and let's actually get involved in here already. Long War. We're going to be doing this in normal because that's what this thing recommends first and foremost, and I don't necessarily want to kick myself in the ass just yet, so we're going to be going with normal for sure. Alrighty, so also to give you another little hint what I will be doing is I will be skipping videos, just be, or like not videos, but like videos in game, just because I've heard there's been a lot of issues in the past with XCOM content being ID'd by YouTube's match ID content thing. I necessarily don't want to run into any issues, so the videos that usually play are just little stupid things that just tell you like, oh, Commander, you need to do this, or yada yada yada. It's really nothing that big, and they're really devoid from the content itself. The gameplay is really what makes this game really exciting. And if you want to, the story, I'll tell you right now. Aliens are invading, you have to blow the shit up. Easy as that, and everything else you basically create on your own. So all that said, we have to pick an uh, base to start off with over here. I apologize for that background noise, that was one of my birds laughing apparently. Apparently you found whatever I said really amusing. Uh, so we have to start off the base here. Uh, North America gives you air and space, which is uh, all aircraft and aircraft weapons cost 70% of the regular cost to purchase, build, and maintain. I've heard that aircrafts actually go down pretty often in this game, especially in the Long War mod. So that seems kind of interesting, but so does Europe, because Europe does laboratories and workshops. They cost 60% of the regular cost to build and maintain. Asia has future combat, which is all projects in the foundry. And the officer training school costs 60% of their maximum. South America, um... 60% of their regular cost to build and maintain for power facilities. And then Africa is uh, extra money. I think Africa is probably the least one that you want to go with, at least I've heard before. So I'm going to probably go with Europe for laboratories and workshops. So let's confirm that. Is that a good decision? I'm not really entirely sure, but let's just hope it is. Alrighty, so instantly you're going to be dumped into like a quote-unquote tutorial type of mission here. Indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We yeah. get down there and and this guy's going to tell you about, you know... What's your mission? Yada yada yada. So this is essentially the first contact with the alien. So you've heard about it. You go over there and check it out. It's kind of like, oh wow, alien life. And then you know, Doctor Volin and her cohorts just start yabbering at you and things like that. They, you know, sometimes say don't blow up aliens with grenades. But you know what? It's all about surviving. So I will blow these motherfuckers up if they have to. I've never gotten this area as a starting point, so. It's kind of interesting. To engage all hostile yeah, I'm aware. I, I will engage him and I will take him down. And I'll try not to blow him up, but I make no promises right now. So consider this your kind of like tutorial of the game itself. These two, uh, six people are going to be your starting people. And, um, you know, they have no names right now. But after you get to the base, you can rename them. So again, these, assuming they survive, <laughs> will be some of the first people that I rename for sure. Alrighty, so let's get this game going on over here. I normally play really aggressive. But I've heard that it's probably better to take more of a defensive approach with um, the Long War mod, so I do expect to do that. And we'll talk more about this as we go on. I just want to get the boundaries of the 
level here. So we're looking at this being this boundary, and then over to this left side, we're looking at to where the boundary roughly here. Okay, so it's not a wide map in itself, it's more probably going down. So, speaking of going down, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, so Tiffany Evans, what are you going to do for me? You're going to just probably, um, let's see, roll up over on here for way. now. Let's see if you get any eyes on anything over there. Not particularly. And you have a grenade and a medical kit. Good. I'll keep that in mind. Rahul Malik. All right, you go over here into full okay. um, cover. Now, I see nothing so far. I wouldn't be surprised if there's something over here. This might be the gas station level. I'm kind of familiar with this one, but again, it's been a while since I've played um, XCOM altogether, so I'm not too particularly sure. I could go up here as well and probably get some better eyes, and I would have some vantage in terms of a uh, level, so I will do that. Maybe these guys get some better eyes on something, if not get a better shot when it does arise for us. And then Maletta, what are you going to do? You're going to probably run and hang out over here for now, just because we haven't really drawn anything. Pawar! Kali Pawar! That is a amazing soldier name in itself. You come and hang out over here. And finally, we have Setlana Ilyushina. Alrighty, well, I just probably butchered that completely, but that's alright. We'll, we'll deal with it. And you could just probably hang out over here. Now, everybody is going to just probably, more than likely, go into Overwatch, I, I would imagine. No really reason into doing steady weapons because we haven't seen anything, so Overwatch. I know there's a button to make everyone Overwatch, I just, you know, be damned if I know what it is right now. Alien activity, right. So what I'm hoping for is just getting like an idea as to where the enemy might be. So what I'm gonna do is with... Who is this? Tiffany Evans? You're gonna come all the way over okay. here. And you know, hope for the best over here. Aha! And they're on the side. They're probably in the least uh, expected part that it, well, not least expected, but the probably the worst part they could have been for me because I was hopefully thinking they were going to be down over on this side. So what I'm going to do with Kali Pawar over here is just probably run over here. You're going to be behind full cover anyway. You do have a few shots. Let's look at these shots here really quickly. You're looking at 23 and 23. Neither really sound too good, but let me just put you into some possible overwatch just in case these guys decide to get a little bit frisky with us and we'll be ready for them. Tiffany Evans, you on the other hand have to get behind some cover because you're not looking too good. So get behind full cover. You won't be able to overwatch or anything, which is a problem, but we'll deal with it. Wagner, Kurt Wagner over here. You're gonna go over here, Nightcrawler, and just kind of hang out. And you probably won't get an overwatch shot, but might as well just put you into overwatch. Malik, Malik, you're going to have to more than likely dash in order to get involved with this mission. So come and hang out over here. I won't be able to assign you anything else, but that's okay. Ilyushina. I had so much, such a hard time pronouncing your name. You go over here. You should be able to be good into Overwatch. Even have a few shots, but I don't expect them to be good. 22% is not good. So let's just put you into Overwatch and see what happens. And finally, we have Maletta over here. You, I would imagine... I can't believe this is not full cover, but... Let me have you come over here and then hunker down, maybe? Yeah, we'll have you just hunker down. Okay, so now we just wait for these guys' moves. I, I hope they move. Oh, he's gonna take shots. Oh, they're gonna mind meld. Alright, it's fine. So he's gonna buff his friend up over here. If I was able to kill that guy who mind melded into him, it would kill him, obviously. And then the other dude would take, like, a lot of damage. It wouldn't kill him, but it would take some significant amount of damage. Now, I hunkered down over here so it gives me the full cover benefit. I just gotta wait around and see what they're gonna do. Take a shot, yep. No, they're going to actually just mine fray. And the panic failed, thankfully. Good. Now it's our turn again. And we do have... What is that? Meld? Huh. Meld already, huh? I wasn't aware that you could meld in a tutorial, but okay. So, Tiffany Evans, what do I want you to do? Luckily, none of these guys are on Overwatch, at least the ones that we know of, which is one and two. There's a third one. I'm just not sure where the hell he went. So, I'm going to go and move over here with this individual. I'm worried about that third dude. I forgot where he ran off to. Should have probably kept a better eye on that. Do you have a shot? You do. It's just not really good. These guys are behind some really decent cover. I don't really want to use grenades this early on. I prefer to use the helium or the HE grenades because they just destroy cover, which is probably better than, you know, having to blow them up. But this would at the very least just damage the alien a little bit. So I'll consider that endeavor really soon. Um, for now, let's go over to Wagner. There is no Overwatch here at the very least, so I could do something a little bit crazy. Not crazy about the idea of being crazy, but there's just no cover over here is the problem. 
Do you have D8? You do. Okay, you could blow up cover. And that's probably what we're going to go for. I think that might help us out. If we could blow up this cover over here, it would be pretty good for our advantage. So let's toss that over here. I, I don't have high hopes for it, but yeah. Didn't even ruin any of the cover and only got one damage. So didn't really work out as much as I expected it to. There's another HE grenade here at the very least. And then we have a flashbang. Okay, the flashbang would be pretty good if somebody's on Overwatch, but obviously none of these two guys are. I'm not sure about the third one, though. Alrighty, so I'm thinking you probably just go into Overwatch for now. Uh, Malik, you are going to go into Overwatch as well in case there's somebody over here that I haven't noted just yet. Maletta, you are going to... I'm not even sure what to do with Maletta. I don't want to pop like another um, squad of aliens as well, so I'm worried about where to move him or her. It's a her. Move. We'll move you over here for now. Man, I guess we'll just have you Overwatch as well. Wagner... Claudia, Kurt Wagner, Nightcrawler, you're going to probably just post up over in here for now. You should be okay, I hope. You're not in cover or anything, but they don't have a line of sight on you, so... You go into Overwatch as well, as, you know, risky as that sounds, and then Power, you just Overwatch for this turn. How much else I can do. I'm hoping they actually decide to get the hell out of there. Not that they would, because they're in really amazing cover. Alrighty, so the third individual is over on this side. Meaning I could probably press forward over on this side over here a bit. So we'll keep that into mind, or into consideration, I should say. Alright, overwatching and overwatching, good. So I'm not too worried about that overwatch because we do have a flashbang grenade after all. So we could just cancel that out right now. Can we cancel out both of them? No. And that's going to be the problem because even if I run in with only one of them um, taken care of, the other one's still going to take a shot. Man, these guys just picked a really good spot to actually spawn and actually camp over here, so... Man. Alrighty. Let's do an AP grenade. I didn't want to do this this early on, but... I feel like we probably need to get rid of one of them. Let's see, and where is my other dude over here? Do you have a... You have an AP grenade. If I could get rid of the guy back over here... Do you have a... Oh, do you have a grenade on both of them? No. Just the one that's close by. And that's the one that we could flash either way, so it seems kind of silly to do that right now. Okay. So here is what I'm thinking. It's going to be kind of risky. You could draw the shot over here too, which is what worries me. And you probably will. Yep. Can you dodge it at the very least? Yes. Okay. So that alien did miss. That kind of helps us out a little bit here. Now I'm coming over this side because I wanted to see where this dude was at. And now I have eyes on him. I'm being flanked though, so that is going to be a problem. I did draw one of the overshot or the, the overwatches, which is fine. Now what I can do is actually toss this flashbang grenade over here and cancel this one out. And then we could probably move in for some attacks. It's going to be kind of risky because we're going to have to definitely get the kill. Otherwise we're putting our soldiers into danger here, but... It might be the best move right now. Thankfully we're able to miss on that shot. So you could come over here and actually... Get an over... Get a, um... What am I looking for here? <laughs> get a good angle shot on this guy. So, four damage on this dude. I say we have to take it, right? Yeah. And hopefully we get the kill, too. Yes, so we got a critical. Enough for the kill. Nice. So, you're no longer being flanked. Oh, actually, you are by this dude, huh? Yeah, Dr. Balin, I got it. Yeah, I know. You have a hard-on for the aliens. I get it. Now, you... Malik, you could simplify things for me by coming over here and possibly getting a shot. No shot. Grenade. I'm going to have to use this grenade, otherwise this soldier's going to be in trouble here. So, as much as I hate having to use grenades this early on and blowing up um, recovery things, three damage is going to be good because now I can move somebody in close and actually get that kill. So, we, we're not going to lose the alien artifact, assuming we get this kill. Now, it is banking on the fact that we get this shot off and this kill off. Do you have a shot? 22% is not good. You know, I, I feel like I have to use an AP grenade here, otherwise I don't think we can make it over here and take a shot. I'm gonna move here and then try to take a shot, and at the very least we have the grenade over there backing us up just in case we miss. And I expect to miss, but we'll see here. Maybe we could get lucky. Nope, not even close. Alrighty, well, apparently we weren't listening to that Daft Punk song right there. Now, what about you? Do you have a similar ordeal? And if you do, I'm willing to take it because, again, I could always use that grenade as a very last resort. I would rather just get lucky on a shot, though. Not a good one, but I'm going to take it. Oh, 
That one was kind of close. Alrighty, so now we have to use this grenade. I'm not a big fan of it, but otherwise that, you know, rookie right there is going to get flanked and killed, and we can't have that happening in the very first mission, so... Boom, he's dead. Yeah, Dr. Valen, I get it. You know what, Valen? My soldiers' lives come before the um, alien artifacts you're trying to collect over here. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, yeah. I know, there's a big speech. I mean, yeah. You're going to punish me when I get home? Yeah, I got it. Alrighty, no Xbox for a month? Yeah. No news to me. That's alright, I could do Xbox easily, or I could do without Xbox easily, right? There's the internet after all. So Meld is still down over there, but I'm not really worried about Meld right now. We have bigger fish to fry. So now that uh, we've opened this up, I can bring this individual over here. This now. could probably... Okay, I was worried that I was gonna, you know, trigger something over here, but I didn't. This guy's gonna get flanked. That was the greatest move of all time. 83%? Don't miss this, alright? Alright. XCOM has a, has a tendency to be fucking you over in terms when it comes to, like, RNGs, but luckily this time around that didn't happen. Now, the other thing I'm gonna do is gonna be risky, but I'm gonna dash this individual all the way over here to get him involved. We'll switch over to Wagner. Wagner, you are, on the other hand, going to come and hang out here. Now, I'm dashing him, which is not the greatest thing you want to do, because you want to keep a uh, option available for for a second, or I thought that would, <laughs> I thought that was the Batmobile in there for a second. Alrighty. Not the right one, no. Alrighty, so you are going to go and hang out over here. I'm going to dash this turn just to get us back into position. And you should be fine over here. And then finally, we're going to have... Ilyushina, you are gonna probably move, at least for this turn, over here. And I'm dashing, I'm not doing any overwatches because I don't expect to pop the next um, squad anytime soon. I figure the next squad's gonna be a little bit further down right now. But hey, at least we got over uh, these three individuals really easily. Or not easily, I handled it relatively well considering how well their cover was. Now, Rahul Malik, um, Samalenko, my brother, you're gonna probably go and... That's not a really good spot for you. I would love to get eyes on what's happening over here. So this is going to be kind of risky. I'm going to just push you over here because I would like to see if I could pop the other squad. And there it is already. So four individuals to deal with this time around. That probably would have been better if I had some overwatches. But, you know, it is what it is. Now, we have Pawar over here. Kali Pawar. So two of these bad boys ran off over here in this fog of war thing. Um, Therefore... I'm thinking you move over here. You're not going to be able to do an Overwatch this turn, but that's okay. I would just like to get some eyes, but even that didn't happen. Tiffany Evans, you are going to go and hang out. I want to say you should be relatively safe over here, so go and move on that one. I'm dashing a lot right now, which is really aggressive play, but I'm just trying to get my people into position so next turn we could have some possible shots and, you know, go into Overwatch and whatever we have to do. This is only half cover, huh? That's really surprising. So let me have you go into full cover instead. And we have our, our boy Wagner over here left over. Not really our boy, more of our girl. Uh, Curtila Wagner? I guess that would work out? I don't know, man. And you are gonna go and post up, I would say... Man. <laughs> Not too crazy about you hanging out behind this gasoline pump over here, but that's the only full cover available to us, so take that one. I could go upstairs and probably get some shots from the roof, but... Let's just see what these aliens do and kind of wait it out here. You know, mind meld a bit? A little bit of mind meld. Oh, dude, so that means that there's an alien on the other side of this van. I think I have one of my soldiers posted up here, right? Had we had some overwatches there, that would have been worked that would have worked out pretty good, but unfortunately I did not because I've been playing relatively aggressive. So they're just gonna overwatch themselves. Which might actually impede our movement forward, but you can take a shot. No, no shot. Okay. Now you have a shot. What are you looking at here? 53 is not a bad shot, honestly. I might actually consider taking that one really soon. Because there's a lot of overwatches here after one. I don't think I have any more flashbang grenades. Alrighty, so let's go through the motions here. Who has a flashbang potentially? Nobody. AP grenade? AP grenade? HE grenade? So yeah, no more flashbangs. You guys need to bring some more flashbangs on your initial quest here. I'm just throwing it out there. Alrighty, so you are going to start off and... As much as I would like to use an HE grenade right now, it's not going to be really applicable right now. So do you have a shot? That's the real question. 20% is not good, neither is that 20. So let's rotate a little bit here. Pawar, would you trigger this um, overshot? I think you probably would. So I don't think it's going to be worth it. Maybe you go over here, though. 
That shouldn't trigger it. And you still don't have a shot. That's really surprising to me. Let me just have you go into Overwatch then. Alrighty, I'm still considering the shot with Evans though. Now, Maletta, you are going to... What do we have? HE and AP grenade? You can go up on this roof, but you will trigger some shots, and that's the last thing we want happening. Would you trigger a shot? You probably would. Wagner, you have some shots. You have 30, you have 17, and 32. If we could get 32, it would really hurt the guy up front. Now, this is a really crazy shot, though. We also have an AP grenade. Would this hit both of them? No. Barely hits one of them. Oh, really? That's not the second one either? He's in the radius, man! Alrighty, I am thinking... As crazy as it sounds, we go with 32 just because if we kill him, we significantly hurt the other dude as well. That's my reasoning. Don't question it. Just do it. Boom! Lucky shot, I'm aware, but it's fine. So killing that guy's gonna significantly hurt this dude over here. Now, let's consider our shots here. We have Maletta still. We have an HE grenade. Not gonna be really useful against this cover though. I'm almost considering using his other AP grenade really quickly. And that's really bad because I don't want to get into the whole, I guess, uh, comfort of using grenades to save my life here, but let me actually use this one and hopefully we can kill this dude. Now, that's really bad because we did have a shot with Tiffany Evans, so I'm a little bit upset. Oh, we actually hit this dude back here too. Did we kill him? I didn't even see that dude over there. Um, now, this guy's in Overwatch, so let's see. Let me have you go into Overwatch as well. Maybe that alien will move, and then Evans, you could probably move without triggering a shot. Hopefully. It's a really risky move, but it could be one that we have to make right now. That would be quite the overshot in itself, though, now, wouldn't it? Yeah, let me try it. Oh, God, it didn't trigger it. Oh! It did trigger it. Okay, this guy just blew up the, um the meld so he's just telling me he's basically giving me the finger where it's kind of like you know what you could kill us but you're not taking the melt so that probably didn't work in our favor as well but i, could, I do have a critical shot here 60 percent and also 63 percent chance to hit so i will take this shot and hopefully end this mission perhaps yep no longer a threat more aliens okay i'm surprised maybe we didn't kill the guy back over here or maybe there's another pod really that'd be kind of surprising so who do we have left Rahul Malik, huh? Alrighty, so Rahul, you're gonna probably just move over here. Because I want to make sure this guy is dead over here. He probably is. Alrighty, so that's it. That's all we can do. Just go into Overwatch for now. And hopefully, we get some sort of idea where these other aliens are at. Yeah, even the tutorial doesn't fuck around. It's already tossing a bunch of aliens at us. Now, there's a lot of room to kind of go back over here. So I wouldn't be surprised if the aliens are indeed back over on that side. Alrighty, so Tiffany Evans, you're gonna... Hang out here for a second while I kind of figure out what I'm trying to do here. Malik, you are going to come and hang out over here. Maybe there's some aliens inside. They're not inside, but they were by the... That's not the best. That's not the worst place they could be, honestly. All right. I, I was thinking they were going to be inside grabbing like a Slurpee or something, but, you know, I guess the aliens have something against a Slurpee. So you hang out here for a second while I kind of reconsider my moves over here. Does anybody have a shot right off the bat? I'm surprised Kali Pawar doesn't. Now, let me move you over here for now. That should give you a shot. Not a good shot, though. 23 and 61 is actually not too bad. I'm going to say you take the 61. Yeah. You know, I had to take it. It was after. It was over 50% at the very least. So I had to, at the very least, test the waters out. So, Moleta, you're going to come over and hang out over here. You have a shot. What is this one looking at? 20%. Not great. So, you just go into Overwatch for this turn. Alrighty, next we have Wagner. Now, Wagner, you're going to go and hang out over here. You're not going to be in full cover, which could be a problem for you. Do you have any good shots? It's a uh, 31%. Not great. Let's just go have you go into Overwatch. Maybe those aliens will be compelled to move here. Tiffany Evans, you are going to... You know what? We might just take it to the roof with her, right? Mind you, she won't have full cover, but... Yes. She'll have at least some sort of elevation advantage, so that could help us out. And we might as well do it now before the aliens are going to overwatch themselves. So you do that, and then meanwhile, we're going to go over here to Sevlana Ilushana. And you are going to go and do what? I would love to put you into, like, over overwatch, but I don't think you're going to have a shot either way. So I'm almost even considering just dashing you out here. 
and at least having you get a better shot next turn around. Alrighty, and then we still have Malik over here to deal with. Malik, you have nothing going on over here, huh? You could kind of round out behind them. So let's do that. You're not going to, you know, get hurt back here anyway. So you don't have to be in behind cover. I'm thinking we could probably flank him. We'll see, though. So here's this shot or a mind meld. It's a mind meld. All right. So he's going to buff this dude up a little bit. But if we take care of him, then we're also hurting his friend over here. This guy's going to take a shot. Nice. Good dodge. And an overwatch. Excellent. So now Evans does have some shots over here. 38, 44, and 38. So, if we kill 44, he would significantly hurt his friend over here. So, I say we take it. Oh, nice. Alrighty. Good start. So, we have to reload next turn. Now, you are going to be able to flank behind. That's what I was hoping to do. So, what I'm thinking we do is just overwatch, and then we push the aliens from the backside with um, Rahul Malik over here. And that should, for the most part... Set us up pretty nice. We'll move over here and see if you have a shot initially. Oh, you do. You have flanking shots already. Oh, <laughs> 60% and 59. You're not the greatest shots, right? But I'd be a fool not to take them, right? Yeah, I mean, we should we go for the kill or do we go for this one? I mean, either one would be kills more than likely. Let me go with this one, though. Please land a shot. Oh, you, you're killing me. You're killing me, Marul. We had that one for you. Okay, now you are going to just, um, more than likely just Overwatch as well, right? Yeah. They're Overwatching. At least one of them is. If I run over here, would this guy be able to get an Overwatch or get an Overwatch shot on me? I'd be surprised if he did. Okay. Now, how's your shot looking? 41. It's not bad. And I say we take it. Alright, that alien's relatively lucky. I should have just overwatched right there. I was being a little bit too aggressive, but you know. What I'm going to do now is actually just move over here and then go into overwatch and kind of hopefully keep those aliens landed over there. Just by overwatching, you do kind of pressure them into hanging out in their spot. Um, let's see here. What do you do? What do you do is the real question. Um, You don't even have a shot back over here. I don't want to move you there. That seems kind of risky. Something and you move over here on this side. You do have a shot now. How lucky is this alien? 17%? Well, let's not even risk it. Let's just overwatch and again, keep the aliens grounded right there. Aha! Uh -huh. Overwatch? Oh, God. This dude with 1 HP is the luckiest son of a bitch of all time. But again, he's kind of getting in the sights of Rahul, so maybe he'll take care of him. Oh, Jesus Christ. This guy is just out of control right now. Yeah, sure. Alright, so... First thing we do once we're back in the academy is we do some training. Another overwatch. Come on. Land one. Nice. And you know what? This mission should be over right now because what's going to happen is we're going to have the most amazing flanking shot of all time over here. I don't even care about any of you guys right now. Where is um our boy over here? Alrighty. Malik, you cannot miss this one, alright? I'm going to send you like literally in front of him. He's not even overwatching, alright? So you just have to like literally park up next to him and be like, hey, what's up? Here's my gun. You know, not to be perverse, but you know, just wrap your fucking lips around it, dead alien. That's it. Excellent. Operation Crystal Rain's done. Ten aliens killed and no operatives lost. We didn't even take any damage to my knowledge, so pretty goddamn good, I would say. Let me get a bit of coffee here. Commander to the research labs. Alrighty. So all good. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this because again, I don't want to get content ID'd by YouTube, so yeah, yeah. All he's going to do is congratulate us for killing aliens and yada yada yada. Luckily, we got a few promotions and secondly, nobody took any injuries or deaths, which is a good thing. Um, there is a fatigue system in um, Long War, which basically means that even though you could use these, you know, soldiers again for the next mission, they will take some penalties to your stats because they are fatigued. So you have to give them a little bit of time to recover in between. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the first episode, and again, if you did enjoy it, I encourage you to leave a thumbs up, leave a like, the support really does mean a lot for, especially for a series that's starting off. And again, if you do want to be part of the XCOM project, let me know in the comments by leaving your name, and just telling me Falcon, I want to be part of it, and we will add you to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, I will catch you next time.